How's it going guys? This is Bryant with Echo Adventure Cooperative and today we're going to show you how to do the clinch knot along with the improved clinch. Okay, so for the clinch knot I'm going to use this backing here in orange and so we're going to come through the hook through the shank side upwards. I don't ever go down. It seems to be that I get better hook sets this way. And so we're going to follow this through the eyelet. This is going to be the end of your tippet or leader. I'm going to grab that piece. We're going to spin this six to eight times. If you're using 6x, 7x, maybe even 5x, you want to be eight times spun. If you're using anything above 4x, maybe 6. And so your regular clinch is going to come through here. You're going to stop this piece here, pulling on it a little bit. And then you're going to put this through that opening. And then before you clinch this down, you want to put saliva on this here. And then clinch. Okay, so let's show you what the improved clinch looks like. Okay, so same process, there's just one more step. So we're going to put it through the eyelet, we're going to spin it, you know, six to ten times, and this is a little thicker stuff, so we're just going to do a few here. We're going to hold tension on that any way that you can, through that eyelet. Now we're going to take this line, we're going to pass it back through that, that loop that my finger is through. Clean up your knot if you have to, right? And then cinch. That is the improved cinch. A little bit better than the cinch knot. But there is some issues with using the improved clinch. Sorry. The improved clinch does have a larger knot diameter. So with smaller nymphs and smaller dry flies, this knot is definitely a little bit bigger. So when you're talking about 6x on a small coronamid, I would stick with a regular clinch. And then we're going to go ahead and trim the excess. And that's it. There's your clinch, your improved clinch.